Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Minecraft launcher and I know some of you have been having issues with installing the new Minecraft launcher for your system so some of you might have been installing the new Minecraft launcher but you are getting a error message and sometimes it does get stuck on the screen which says making things awesome so if you are installing the new minecraft launcher the new minecraft launcher installer will sometimes get stuck on the making things awesome screen and it won't do anything it will just be like that for a long time and it won't actually install the game so i'm going to show you guys how to actually install the new minecraft launcher via the xbox app and hopefully this should fix the new minecraft launcher installer getting stuck on the making things awesome screen and and this should basically allow you to install Minecraft Java Edition or Minecraft for Windows or even Minecraft Dungeons easily and you should be able to then use the new Minecraft launcher to play all three of the Minecraft games within the one launcher. So if you guys are trying to update or upgrade to the new Minecraft launcher from the old Minecraft launcher and for some reason you are getting stuck on the making things awesome bits of the installation then this video should help you out. Okay so as you guys can see I do have the old Minecraft launcher opened here and at the bottom it does say this message which says we will be providing ongoing support for this launcher but there is a new improved launcher download it now if i was to click on this link it will actually open up the microsoft store and i will be able to download and install the new minecraft launcher through the microsoft store but we don't want to do that because we can actually run into some issues if we did that if you guys are downloading the installer from the minecraft.net website then obviously it is going to show you that making things awesome message and for some of you i know it has been getting stuck on that screen so let's go ahead and actually download the new minecraft launcher through the xbox app now let's go ahead and download the new minecraft launcher through the xbox app all right so first of all we need to make sure that you actually have the xbox app installed and to do that click on your start bar and you can do this for windows 10 or windows 11 obviously i am on windows 11 but the same method should work for windows 10 as well in your search bar just start typing in xbox and as you guys can see I don't actually have the Xbox app installed otherwise it would actually have an icon there that said Xbox so we are actually going to go ahead and download and install the Xbox app via the Microsoft Store so in your search bar start typing in Microsoft Store and it should say Microsoft Store app so go ahead and click on that it can take a few seconds for this to load up for the very first time once it does load up the first thing you need to actually make sure and this is very important and that is to actually log into the Microsoft Store with the same account that you purchased Minecraft with. So as you guys can see, I have actually logged into the Microsoft Store on the top right here in the circle. It is showing my login details. Do make sure that you click on the circle on the top right corner here and log in with the same user ID that you have purchased Minecraft with. All right, so once you are in the Microsoft Store, start typing in Xbox in your search bar. So I've already got a search result there. So just start typing in Xbox and hit enter on your keyboard and it should come up with, with this Xbox app, as you guys can see it should then also say install over here so go ahead and click on install on that section it will ask you for permission to install it so go ahead and say yes and just wait for that to finish the installation for the xbox app all right so once the xbox app has finished installing it should say open over here so go ahead and click on this open button and you should see this screen load up now because i already have logged in to the microsoft store with the same account that i did purchase minecraft with it should have the same details for me and it should say welcome back and then it should also give me this message now for you it might actually ask you to log in again so go ahead and just log in with your same user id that you have purchased minecraft with so let's go ahead and click on this button here that says take me to the games and you should see a loading screen that looks something like this now what we need to do is we need to go and click into the search bar and now we need to search for minecraft launcher in the search bar there and hit enter on your keyboard now we need to install this one here that looks like this icon so make sure that you are clicking onto the minecraft launcher that has this icon ignore the fact that it does say game pass for me i did recently purchase game pass for one pound 
for the three months so that is why it's saying game pass for me for some of you it might not say that if you haven't got a game pass don't worry it should say install now for you provided that you have logged in with the same account that you did purchase minecraft with so go ahead and click into the minecraft launcher icon and now you should see a install button here and as you guys can see it does also say included with game pass so just ignore that and let's go ahead and click on install over here if you guys do have multiple drives it will ask you which drive you want to save it in i would highly recommend that you actually install this on your c drive to avoid any issues with the installer so go ahead and click on install making sure that c drive is selected there and just wait for the installation to finish you can click on this bit here that says view progress and it will show you the downloading progress for the minecraft launcher and let's just wait for that to now finish and i'll be right back all right so as you guys can see it has now finished downloading and installing the minecraft new launcher as you guys can see over here and now i can actually go one level back and now it should say play on this bit here instead of install it should now say play you will also notice that on the left hand side it has created an icon for the minecraft launcher now if you guys want to create a shortcut on your desktop you need to right click on this and then click on this link here that says create desktop shortcut let's go ahead and do that now and now we should have a shortcut on our desktop so let's take a look if that has been done all right, so as you guys can see, I have now got a shortcut on my desktop for the new Minecraft launcher. And now I can actually double click on the new Minecraft launcher shortcut on my desktop and it should start updating. As you guys can see, it says updating Minecraft launcher, downloading update files, and it should launch the new Minecraft launcher after that. I will also then show you how to check that it is the new Minecraft launcher. There are a few steps which you guys can take to make sure that it is definitely the new Minecraft launcher and not the old Minecraft launcher so let's wait for this process to finish and i'll be right back all right so it has finished installing and setting everything up for the new minecraft launcher and it should look something like this and as you guys can see it does not give me that message at the bottom there which was saying that i need to upgrade or try out the new minecraft launcher another way to check if you are using the new minecraft launcher is basically just to click on any of the games which you do not own it should say install or buy it for them now because i've got game pass at the moment for minecraft dungeons it is saying install for me however if you don't actually own the game pass it should say buy for that particular game same thing for minecraft for windows as well as you guys can see it says play and if you guys actually don't own that it should say buy if you guys are using the old minecraft launcher it would give a message there that says incompatible with this launcher now, if you click into the Minecraft Java edition, for example, we can go into the installation section here. And as you guys can see, it has actually remembered that I installed Fabric Loader previously and it's brought it into the new Minecraft launcher. If you guys have ever installed Optifine or Iris Shaders or Forge or Fabric, you can actually bring those installations back by clicking on new installation and then choosing the installation from the drop down. So let's go ahead and have a look at what I installed previously. So as you guys can see, I actually installed Optifine for version 1.18.1 quite recently so let's actually call this optifine and let's create this installation so as you guys can see i can now play the optifine version when you do install the new minecraft launcher i would actually recommend that you launch the latest released basic game for the very first time by clicking on the play icon and that will actually download a couple of files for you and then you won't have to worry about all of those things ever again so if you are installing the new minecraft launcher for the very first time do you click on the play button here where it says latest release hopefully this video would have helped you guys out and if you were actually running into issues trying to install the new minecraft launcher and you were getting stuck on that screen that says making things awesome then hopefully this method where you are able to install the new minecraft launcher through the xbox app it should fix that issue let's go ahead and click on play and actually launch the game with optifine installed and we can see that it is now preparing it and it should launch the game as normal if you did like the video please do give us a like if you have any comments or queries about this process of installing the new minecraft launcher via the xbox app then do leave them in the comment section below if you do run into any problems do leave them in the comment section below i will try my best to help you guys out please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching